In case you don't know, the Peter Rabbit movie that came out February 9th is sparking lots of controversy. Almost immediately after it came out, the hashtag boycott Peter Rabbit started trending. It's all because there is a scene in the movie where the mischievous rabbit, Peter Rabbit, is competing for the love of his, not really owner, but his neighbor, a full grown human woman, with a man, Mr. McGregor. Well, Peter Rabbit realizes that Mr. McGregor has um, kind of a weakness and a food allergy, and it takes advantage of that. I'll let the CEO of the Allergy and Asthma Network explain to you what happens in the movie and why some people have an issue with it. The scene where Mr. McGregor is actually assaulted with the blackberries and forced to ingest those, in the case of a real patient with food allergies could actually not only be dangerous but could actually be deadly it could be lethal and so that's why we feel so strongly that this film was irresponsible in filming that particular scene and poking fun and making fun about food allergies food allergies are nothing to laugh about but even as an allergy family i have to say i saw the scene in the movie and it did not offend me it didn't bother me i actually had to ask AJ and my husband, oh, what happened in the movie again that people are, what was that scene in the movie? Because everyone's so upset about it. This is my issue with why I think boycotting a movie is a little strong. First of all, it's a fantasy. It's an animated movie. You have a rabbit that talks and does mischievous things. And like I said, is competing for the love of a woman with a human. It's not real life. What we're encouraging families to do is that make your own decision. If you choose to see the film, that's great, but please have a conversation about responsibly how you one should deal with food allergies and that we should never make fun of people because of their disability or because of their medical condition like food allergies. I get it. Food allergies are very scary. Our son has extensive food, extensive food allergies. And as someone who has slipped up twice and given him things that he was allergic to, I understand how alarming it is. But I don't think that the makers of the movie, the producers of the movie, the staff, all the people that worked on it should suffer. I think it sparks a great conversation. And I think that you should talk to your children who have food allergies, of course, about the things that they can and cannot have. And I think you should also talk to kids who don't have food allergies about why they should be sympathetic and caring for people who do. Thanks for tuning in to mommytalkshow.com. Overwhelmed by the high cost of EpiPens to keep your family safe? Visit mommytalkshow.com and download a form for the AviQ pen. It's an alternative that often has a zero out-of-pocket copay.